unique about the existence, about the wujud of Imam Hussain And why not be the case? You know, the relationship of Hussein and God is, is, is amazing. No one can really understand what sort of relationship Hussein have with God. The passion Hussein have for God. The love Hussein have for God. And the love God have for Hussein. And the passion God have for Hussein. It's amazing. The man comes to the Prophet, says, I have no children, please, why don't you do dua? Do dua. The Prophet says, you know what I see, that you will not be a father, a prophet. And the man becomes sad and he's returning. And he meets Hussein while he's returning. And Hussein inquires that, how come I see you distress? How come I see the sorrow on your face? The man replies that I went to the prophet and I have no children. And the prophet says that in my taqdeer there is no, that I will not be father. Hussein says that I give you one. The man was shocked. I give you two, three, four. And he continues till the Prophet stops him. Why not Hussein love God? When the whole taqdeer of the cosmos is changed by the utterance of that little child. When the Prophet is saying that there isn't whether that be in order to indicate the greatness and the maqam of Imam Hussain or not. We are not discussing that. Whether or not, whether Prophet wants to introduce Imam Hussain that look, he is the pleasure, he is the marzi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His riza is the riza of Allah. Yes, riza of the Prophet is riza of Allah and riza of Allah is the riza of the Prophet everybody understands. But Imam Hussein, but the Prophet wants to show something. We are not discussing that. So why not Hussein love God? Why not be that passion? That whatever he utters, it happens. When Prophet is taking Hussein on his shoulder and Imam Hassan on his shoulder and people saying that, still a child, they were six years old when the Prophet died. <coughs> when the people say that, oh, what a great, you know, right Hassan and Hussein have. And the Prophet replies, no, say what great writers are. You know, at that age, Prophet is replying in this manner, in this way. And on the other hand, we have mentioned this and discussed earlier, and we repeat to remind each other, is that speech of the Prophet is not on the basis of emotionality. It is not because they are the grandson and they love so much. Prophet love his grandson because there is some type of relationship. No. The speech of the Prophet is purely based on aql, purely based on intellect. There is no sentimentality or emotionality there. When he is introducing when he's saying that they are, they are the Shabab of the Ahl Jannah, when they are saying they are so, such a great individuals they are, being they are. So, what's taking place today is that Khazana, that treasure, which is near Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the revealing of that treasure is taking place today which is the birth of Imam Hussain And this itself is a great sign, is an ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the greatest of all signs. The combination of the greatest of great ruh, spirit, wujud, existence, with the worldly form, with the worldly body. And as we interpreted or as we explain that the angel who, be, who had limitation in perfecting, which is Fatrus as we were discussing, he reaches perfection through the wujud, through the existence of Imam Hussain through his barakah. Why not be? 
as he is the first of creation. He is much, much higher than the realm of angels, than the realm of intellect. You know, as Ibn Sina divides into the first of creation as the Aql Awwal, Aql Sani, Aql Salis, Aql Rabi. The Aql Awwal is nothing but the Wujud Mubarak, which is nothing but the Haqiqat Muhammadiyah, which is nothing but the existence, the Muhammadan light itself. So indeed, angels requires the intercession and the help of the Aql Awwal to improve itself. And this is not a story which took place 1400 years ago, because perfection is unlimited. It is something that keep, it goes on and even today it goes on. Why do we recite in the ziyarat? Why do we say that those who visit Imam Hussain on Arba'een, it is as if visiting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the Arsh? Why is it is said that there are so many malaika descend from the heaven in order to give salutation to Hussain? Not on the day of Ashura, not on Arba'een, but every day. Why are they considered, we recite in Munajat Shabaniya that they are uh, the Salwat of Shabaniya, that it is not Munajat, the Salwat of Shabaniya every day it is Mustahab to recite that, you know, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Shajratul Nabuwiya, you know, and Dawhat uh, al Hashimiya wa Mukhtaliful Malaika. You are the place where there is constant influx of Malaika. The angels descend and ascend. Why are they ascending and descending? For what reason? In order to reach their perfection in order to become perfect 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 because the journey of becoming perfect it never ends because God is infinite because perfection is infinite so for angels as well there is perfection so this Mukhtaliful Malaika in, in the Shajra in the uh, Salwat Shabaniya that we recite is that this Fatrus thing is not just, it is just an incident that was disclosed by the Imam. It was just one incident that was disclosed. This is taking place every day for the Masumin alayhi salam. Not only with them in the existence where they are in Barzakh, but with their Wajasadukum Mutahir, Wa Mutahir, but at their gravesite. But with their body, their jasad, their body is tahir and mutahir. Not only tahir, but it purifies as well. What do we recite in Ziyarat of Rajaviya? We recite that, wa ilayhi tafwiz. And you know, it is from you that the change will take place. It is through you. You are the one who, who make the future. It is Ziyarat, and Ziyarat we recite, we go to the uh, shrine of Abu Abdullah or any Masoom or Imam Raza alayhi salam as Rajab Ziyarat is recommended for Imam Raza. So it is through them. And once again, you know, to remind as we, I mentioned on the birth of Amir al Mu'minin, as we were discussing the, uh, the uh, philosophy of intercession after that television program that took place on Channel 4. The Ahlul Bayt Salam, Tafwiz being in their hand, cha changing of the future in their hands, is not independent from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. It is not independent. It's in line with that. It is horizontal. It is hor It is vertical. It is in line, but not horizontal. Because the their rida, their pleasure. Their action, you know, Qurbun Nawafil, this hadith is also accepted by, you know, all of the uh, Ahl al-Tasannun as well, that a person when he, you know, recites Nawafil so much, he will come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where, you know, Allah becomes his hand, you know, his feet, his eyes, his ears. So, the Ahl al-Bayt Salam, Imam Hussain alayhi salam, and this incident of Atruz is not you know, something that Shias brag about or talk about, you know, that has been many times discussed that every time we are reminded at the birth of Imam Hussain, no. This is just, you know, one-tenth of what takes place every day, every 